like yeah. even so with with tension most of that is just habit right if you're busy at work and you can clench that yeah. engages your muscle and it creates a lot of congestion mm-hmm. and eventually that's going to uh, reduce the blood flow and that's why you're getting a lot of soreness okay so for your neck and your shoulder if you're working and you can sort of tilt your head out to the side like this and just kind of work a little bit like that uh, and, and even tilting to the other side and rolling your shoulder this the idea of holding your your muscle under tension like this it's mm-hmm. it, you can feel the tightness and you can think about trying to relax it and that'll help reduce the uh, the activation of your nerves but also when you're sitting for a long time just like being casted your body starts to lay down a lot of fibrous tissue there so the envelope around the muscle starts to thicken and it binds mm-hmm. it it's like wearing a straight jacket right mm-hmm. you can relax all you want but if the straight jacket is, is really tight that's going to create a lot of congestion so that's the other reason why i will hold a, a, a stretch if you wear a tight pair of jeans you just want to keep tugging on it and that'll loosen it up mm-hmm. the back of the shoulder so if you're uh, walking through the door frame every time you get a chance you hold the door frame and just lean forward. Mm-hmm. It's not about doing it uh, uh, for a very long period of time, but doing it very often, just trying to trigger your body to release that tightness and, mm-hmm. and find a different way of holding things, right? And hanging onto the bo- bottom of the door frame will allow yourself to just kind of traction the neck here a little bit to loosen that up and opening the front of the, front of the shoulder. Because when you're at a desk, you're kind of curling forward. Mm-hmm. The other concern is tightness through the hips. And if you're sitting all day long at the office like this, mm-hmm. everything congests here, right? Mm-hmm. So a good way of rele- releasing that, if you can find a stool or a chair, that allows you to extend your leg like this. Mm-hmm. If you have a garbage can in the back, mm-hmm. just hooking your leg up like that will help you create more of a stretch. You don't want to arch your spine too much because that will create compression back here. Mm-hmm. So always keeping the abdomen in. And the abdomen is really important because if you think about a balloon and you squeeze it, mm-hmm. the balloon will elongate. Mm-hmm. If you can contract in your abdomen in that way, it will elongate your spine. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that help do that is even if you get a chance, like, just lay down on the floor, mm-hmm. tuck your chin in, pulling your belly button in and try to create a curvature through your body. Okay? Okay. If you're not used to doing this and your abdomen is not conditioned enough, it's really hard to curl. So if you grab a, a rope somewhere, pull your shoulders back and try to create that compression through here to curl and round your back. Mm-hmm. If you're really tight through your posterior chain, it's really difficult to do that. It's kind of like trying to bend a two by four, which is really rigid. It's mm-hmm. not gonna happen. You're gonna soak it and moisten it, loosen mm-hmm. it up. And then eventually developing the strength and the mobility will help you round. Just okay. doing a few exercises like this throughout the day will help you sort of mobilize that spine and loosen things up. And the other way to do that is just to curl backwards like that. Mm-hmm. Again, mm-hmm. if you're really tight to the back of your leg, it's going to be hard to do that. You can swing it a little bit like mm-hmm. this. And the idea is not to build a lot of strength and power, just to mobilize, agitate things and get them to stretch out. Okay, so um, a good way to then stretch is uh, if you have time, just take a few minutes you just kind of curl like this let your body drop forward and loosen up the the spine and neck and just give yourself 30 seconds to a minute just to kind of chill out feel that tightness and think about letting them go Um, if you're really tight and and your body is not sitting properly lower your legs a little bit if you're sitting out on your uh, chair at home or or your your office just find a, a bucket or something a little bit lower and allow yourself to drop further down so if I were to just sit on a, a stool here, mm-hmm. that gives me a lot of, mm-hmm. um, a lot more gravity assisted to help stretch out the legs. Mm-hmm. To do that longer at home uh, at, at night, if you can hold it for 10, 15 minutes, listen to some soft music, don't push into it too hard because you engage the body and the body's going to resist. Mm-hmm. Always very gentle. It's more of a relaxation thing to allow your body to shut down the nerves mm-hmm. and then allow the tissue, the fibrous tissue to elongate and change. It's going to be a slow process, but the more you do it, it's just practice, right? Mm -hmm. It becomes a habit and it's easier. If you are quite flexible, Mm -hmm. I sometimes sit on the the armrest of my sofa Mm -hmm. and then I'll just lay back and allow myself to arc. Mm -hmm. A little less intense, just taking a bunch of pillows Mm -hmm. and arcing yourself over top of the pillows and give give that support so that your body will open up. Mm-hmm. Again, you want to use gravity to facilitate that so you're not engaging your body. You want to disengage everything, mm-hmm. allow your body weight to sort of lengthen open you up. Okay. Okay. To the side of the arm, if you 
uh, grab, just lean up against the wall like this mm -hmm. to uh, open up the sides. Okay. Create a little bit of a twist. And just all these little motions, if you change them up and add them throughout the day, it'll create a little mobility in the body. Okay. Okay.